Trust me, I know what I'm doing. You know, wife, kind, you know, left me a couple of months ago. Oh, Roy, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, what are you going to do? So, uh, what's all this nonsense I hear about you retiring? Well, that's why I came to see you, you know what I mean? I want to go out with a big bang, you know? <laughs> oh, one last big bust, you know? So, uh, I want to buy a couple of people, Hammer and Duro. Send in Hammer and Duro. If you borrow a hammer, you really will go out with a bang. <laughs> Captain. Doro, hammer, what are you doing with a tire iron? You fixing a tire in the parking lot? No, no. I was just about to interrogate a suspect downstairs. What? Give me that, give me that. What? Give me that. Hey, it's the American way. What? This is an old friend of mine, Roy Talbot. He's in charge of narcotics. He seems to need your help. Now, there's a big drug transaction going down tonight in the Dominic Hotel. This guy's heavy, and it's our only chance to nab him. Now, in the room where the deal is going down, it's right next door to the bridal suite. We can get you into the suite next door so you can videotape the whole transaction. Now, we need you two to pose as newlyweds. Newlyweds? Hey, why don't you just get a guy and a gal from your own gang? Or call Bob Eubanks. There could be leaks in my department. Nobody knows your faces. You'd be believable as newlyweds. It's all right. We'd be happy to help you out. Hey, speak for yourself. Last time I posed as a newlywed was a disaster. When was that? My honeymoon. Oh, oh honey, look. Newlyweds, aren't they adorable? It's so romantic. It really is. Look at all those. Yeah, we have reservations. The Buckinghams. Buckingham. Buckingham. Ah, the bridal suite. <laughs> Newlyweds. No, we're Shriners. Just give me the key, desk jockey. Calm yourself, honeypot. Hey, don't tell me what to do, you old cow. I'm running the show here. Front. Supposed to act like a newlywed. I am. That's how I acted when I was a newlywed. Decorated this place, Tammy Baker? And what is this? A bed or a jumbo box of chocolates? Hammer? This is a honeymoon suite. People who come here are in love. Uh, Hearts represent love. Thoreau, the heart isn't a wimp, it's a muscle. And it doesn't have time for love. It's too busy pumping blood. Very romantic. You know, I happen to believe in love and marriage. It goes together like a horse and carrot. Oh, gag me with a nightstick, Thoreau. You know what marriage is? It's driving the wrong way down a one-way street and having a head-on collision with a dump truck called your wife. Now, what's this? It's a tripod. It supports a camera. Right. I knew that. Hammer, why don't you let me handle that? I'm very familiar with surveillance equipment. They're all putting stuff together as men's work. We're naturally very mechanical. So just sit and watch a man do a man's work. You're just gonna sit and watch or you're gonna give us some help here? Okay. Okay, Sledge, almost finished with these connections. Why don't you drill a hole in that wall? No problem. Making holes is what I'm good at. No! Sledge! Don't do that. There's a drill in the suitcase. Use that. Hey, well, I don't like the sound of that. Better oil this baby up. Sledge! Oops, I'm sorry. 
apartment rented this gown. It retails for $5,000. You're kidding. It's got a big oil stain on it. I'm gonna have to take this off before it sets. I guess I'll have to drill this hole myself. <laughs> Who is it? Complimentary champagne. What kind of name is that? Congratulations! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. On behalf of the hotel, may I present you with your complimentary champagne? No, you got the wrong room, bub. We didn't order anything. Sir, it's complimentary. That means it's free. Yeah. Well, uh, I can't afford it, so make like the wind and blow, huh? What's with all this video equipment? What? Oh, that. Oh, that. Oh, that's just, uh, that's, uh, it's a wedding present. This is all the luggage you brought? Yeah. Well, we left a lot of microwaves and toasters at home, you know. Why is this camera all set up? Well, uh, because. Because why? Because. Because we're, we're, we're making honeymoon tapes for the family. Sledge, the stain is <laughs> Hi, honey. I was just explaining to the bellhop here how we're using the video camera to record our honeymoon for the folks back home, right? <laughs> right. So, OK, let's just uh, say hello to Uncle Bosco. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Bosco. Yeah, yeah, I'll just get in this one, too. Okay, fine. Yeah, well, we're... Hi. Uh, hi. Okay, we're fine. It's almost nothing. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, and we'll just pose. Do one of those poses for Grandpa Lou. You know how Grandpa Lou loves the poses. Oh, yeah. Uh, hi, Lou. <laughs> okay, honey, that's enough. Turn it off. <laughs> so, oh, no. Drinking on duty. Duty? Uh, honeymoon duty. Because we're married, it's our duty to be on honeymoon. And what better reason to drink champagne? Yeah. Come on, let's hear a romantic toast. Come on. Come on, honey. OK, OK. <laughs> well, here's hoping that our pushy bellboy with the big head gets the hell out of our room. <laughs> <laughs> you people don't act like you're on your honeymoon. Come on, drink up. It's expensive stuff. Well, uh, I guess I've overstayed my welcome. You've never been welcome. Get out. What? No tip? Yeah, don't swim in shark-infested waters. <laughs> uh, well, uh, drink, enjoy. I'll put the Do Not Disturb sign out for you. No, I'm not much of a drinker, but I do like champagne, especially Goujon. Oh, this sissy stuff makes me puke. But sometimes I like to puke. <laughs> so the duck says to the bartender, put her on my bill. <laughs> Get it to the duck, Bill. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot to call Talbot. Testing. One, two. One, two. Zero. I think the bubbly is, has made you a little too bubbly. <laughs> for your big bus! <laughs> Trust me, I almost know what I'm doing. All right, now that's good. Now you check in every hour, you understand? <laughs> Did you say bust? Oh, Did bust. you say big bust? <laughs> <laughs> got more snow than the Winter Olympics. We get this all on tape? Yep, it's recording. Wow. Let me see. Well, hey, come on, I'm watching. Let me see. Let me you see what it looks camera like. hog. Wow. Yeah. Wow, they must have 12 kilos in there. Yeah. Wow. Now we just have to wait for the big buy. Yeah. I don't feel very good. No. Well, it's Go ahead, go, just go lie down on the bed. Okay. I started with the old magic fingers here. Uh, Hammer! What is happening? <laughs> I think. 
think this heart is beating. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Why'd you sound the alarm? I haven't heard from Hammer and Doro in over two hours. I'm afraid something has gone wrong. Well, with Hammer, you can bet on it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And the drugs are gone, too. poster on. <sighs> Cameron, this is an embarrassment to the entire department. You're telling me. Look how they misspelled my name. Bammer? Do I look like a bammer? Yes! You two perverts are going to pay for this. I'm going to demand an interdepartmental inquiry, and I guarantee you'll be kicked right off the floor. But I swear, we didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. No. At least, we don't think we did anything. Did we? Wait a minute. No matter what happened to us, we still have the tape of the drug transaction and murder. Ah, yes. The tape. Yeah. Why don't we just go and look at this tape? know how to record. Wait, that's it? Where's the, where's the drug deals? Where's the murders? All the good stuff? That's what I'd like to know. Obviously, you turned the tape off before seducing Detective DeRoe. I didn't turn that tape off. And he did not seduce me. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, we'll let the Board of Inquiry decide that. So he wants to put a board upside my head. Uh, uh, look, this, this is out of my hands, all right? Just, just, just file a report on what you do remember and, and leave it on my desk tomorrow morning. Uh, and do me a favor. Spare me the intimate details, if there are any. Then what happened? Hammer? I don't know. Just, just put down that we drank too much champagne and then passed out in bed together. I don't think putting that in the report is exactly going to place us in the best light. Well, we're already totally in the dark. Just put down whatever you want to. My head feels like the Goodyear blimp. I'm going to go home and hit the hay. What about the report? You do it. And if you need help remembering something I can't remember, forget to call me. Thanks. Great. Gee, Dory, that's a nice report. Neat handwriting and everything. Is there something I can do for you, Daly? No, I mean, yes. I mean, well, me and some of the girls were curious. Well, we were just sort of wondering about Hammer. He has a hangover. Oh, that, that's not what I meant. I know what you meant. And the answer is, I wouldn't know. Hammer. And even if I did know, I don't remember. Oh. He's forgettable? That's what we all figured. <laughs> no. I gotta hand it to you, Inspector. Well, it's about time you got your hooks into that sweet babe. <laughs> What's your secret? 
She wouldn't even give me the time of day, and most women, they give me the whole clock. I got nothing to say. Come on. How was she? Firecracker? Dynamite? Nuclear? Boom, boom. I don't remember. Oh, come on. What kind of a man has a woman like that and doesn't remember? Unless, of course, nothing happened. Look, I'll tell you what happened. You want to know what happened? A lot. A lot happened. A really lot. I'm just not talking about it, see? Because I'm not the kind that kisses and tells. I'm the type that kills and tells. What do you mean a lot happened? Mm. Duro, please, can we discuss this some other time? We're talking man talk here. Why aren't you telling the truth? Because you don't do that with man talk. Someone put this in my desk. You're kidding. How come I didn't get a present? Why don't you model it for the rest of us, Doro? I'm sure Hammer's already seen it. Prepare for a high heel in the nose, Woodfin. No, come on, Doro. Please. Violence never solved anything. What? What am I saying? Violence solves everything, except this. So trust me, I can solve this with more man talk. You can fix this with more lies. You're all a bunch of idiots! Out of way! Glad you're home this evening. Oh, yes. Believe it or not, the precinct bimbo is taking a rare night off from her usual all-night partying. Duro, I'm a cop, and I got gut instincts. And this cop's gut is telling me you're upset about what I said in the locker room today. Either that or I got heartburn. Why couldn't you just be man enough to admit that nothing happened? Because I'm not sure nothing did happen. Are you? What if something did happen? Well, if it did, I wish one of us would have been there to stop it. Oh, my God, this is a disaster. They're probably going to kick us off the force. If they don't, I have to transfer anyway. I mean, my reputation is shot. Nobody respects me. Well, that'd never stop me. Hammer, I don't understand how we could have passed out. We didn't drink that much champagne. Unless we were drugged. Wait a minute. This cop's gut is asking me a question. What if we were drugged? You better go talk to the big-headed bellboy. I'll call Captain Trunk. Have him meet us at the hotel. You two are grasping at straws. Well, Captain, straws are all we have. The inquiries tomorrow, we're just trying to save our badges. Where's the big-headed bellboy? Big-headed bellboy. You know, the one with the big head and no lips and thick glasses. The one that gave us the complimentary champagne. We don't have any big-headed bellboys. And we don't give complimentary champagne. We don't even give compliments. We've been set up. How do we prove this by tomorrow? I got it. We'll lie in court. It's worked for me in the past. Big-headed bellboy with no lips and thick glasses. Hmm. Then we entered. We found Inspector Hammer, Detective Thoreau, cradled in each other's arms. It's pretty obvious that they had consumed an alcoholic beverage and were overcome with lust. Hmm. Due to their lack of professionalism, three suspects are dead. We have no leads, and frankly, their disgusting behavior makes me ashamed to be a police officer. I object! This is not a trial. You can't object. No. Well, can I punch him in the mouth? Inspector Hammer, Detective Doro, these are very serious charges. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Well, I do. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Now, gentlemen, I'm going to admit something to you this morning, something that I hesitate to admit even to myself. I do not know really what happened in that hotel room that evening. 
It's a question I have pondered, a question that has laid heavy with me in the dark, in my room. But I am positive that nothing unethical or uh, immoral occurred between us because she would not have allowed it to happen. Because Detective Durow, Detective Durow is a professional. So, so if you're going to blame somebody for this, blame me. The point is, we were framed. We simply cannot prove it. Yeah, that's the point. Ah! The little floozy is just trying to pass the buck. They blew it. And now they're just trying to weasel out of it. What? Captain Trunk, this is a closed hearing. I know that. But I'm responsible for this knucklehead and Detective Doro. I want it noted for the record that in Roy Talbot's last three cases, confiscated drugs were missing. And those cases are closed and unsolved. Hey, Ed, I'm not under investigation here. Well, you should be. Especially since that enlightening talk I had with your son. Roy Jr. What the hell are you doing here? I'm sorry, Dad. You never told me you were going to kill anybody. I was the one who drugged your champagne. I turned off the tape machine. I set up that whole scene in your hotel room. Like father, like scum. Wait a minute, you undressed me? <laughs> Why'd you do it, Roy, huh? Why? Who can live on a police bench? Day after day, I see these drug-pushing sleaze bags living like royalty. And here, here I am, the good guy, living like a poop. And I didn't do it just for myself, you know? I did it for my wife. So, so I could just give her something. Something I could never afford to give her before. What's that? Her alimony. Captain, we just wanted to thank you for saving our careers. Champagne. <laughs> we thought you'd enjoy the irony of it. See, we're giving you champagne because we drank champagne that was drugged, which started the whole mess in the first place, see? So us giving you champagne then would be ironic because the champagne, champagne, we drank the champagne and then... Put a sock in it, Hammer. I better than anyone know what irony is. Hammer, I just want to thank you for sticking up for me during the inquiry. I, I appreciate it. Me too. Made me look heroic, didn't it? Yeah. Well, Doro, I guess this means you won't be transferring, huh? Well, my reputation has been restored. Really? Mine's been ruined. Good. <laughs> <laughs>